This video is called Selecting What You Mean to Select, and it's uh, a video from the second chapter of Google SketchUp for Dummies. Basically, this chapter is going to be about selecting things in SketchUp. Now, to select things, you use the Select tool, just like you do in just about every other software program. And selecting things is what you need to do to things, uh, to, to move them or delete them or do lots of different things in SketchUp. Now, it's, it's pretty simple. If I click on Bryce down here and then hit Backspace, he goes away. So that's a good demonstration of that. Let's just real quick uh, make something down here. Um, you know what? I'm tired of working with rectangles, so let's do something else. Let's kind of start a big old circle like this and kind of maybe extrude that up. And let's uh, put a box on top of that circle and extrude that up as well. Oops. If you notice, I didn't draw that rectangle very carefully, so I should probably redo it. There we go. Draw a rectangle on top of there and kind of scooch that up there. Now I've got something much more interesting. Basically a cylinder, like a 12-sided cylinder, with a little box on top. All right, let's talk about selecting things. If I go up and get the Select tool, the much easiest, or let's say the much easiest, the easiest way to select things in SketchUp is to click on them. So I'm just going to click. And you notice when something gets selected in SketchUp, um, it, it changes state. So if I select a face, it gets this kind of blue dotted pattern on it. If I select an edge, it turns blue and it gets kind of fat, sort of like that. Now, if I want to select, let's say, um, more than one thing, let's say I want to select this face and this face, but not that face. If I just click here and then click here, it's just alternating between the selection. But if I want to select both of them, what I'll do is select the first one and then hold down the shift key. And notice as I hold down the shift key, it's actually going to give me this little plus minus next to my cursor. And that means anything I click on now will add to the selection. So watch as I click there and then click here. Now I let go of the shift key, and as I orbit around, you'll see that this face and this face and this face, and let's hold down shift again, and let's say this edge, and I don't know, that edge and that edge are now selected. So the only things selected in the model right now are this edge, this edge, this edge, this face, and this face, and this face. Does that make sense? All right, cool. Okay. <clears throat> now, that's the way to selectively select things. Now, if I take shift, you notice that it's not just a plus sign on that cursor. There's a minus sign, too. Let's say I decided that I didn't want to have these two faces selected. I'll just click on them to deselect them. In fact, let's deselect this, too, and deselect that as well. Okay? So it's as simple as that. To select things, you click on them. To select more than one thing, you hold down shift and select on all the things you want to select. And if you want to deselect something, you hold shift and click on the things you want to deselect. All right, pretty simple. Let's talk about um, selecting things in different ways. OK, this is sort of a single object right here. Let's kind of create another object over here someplace. Let's use the arc tool to do that. We'll just kind of draw a big loopy looking something that's going to come around there. All right, so I've got sort of a teardrop shape thing. I'll kind of push pull that up about the same height as this. There we go. Now I've got two kind of independent objects in my model. I'm going to go up and get the select tool again. There's a fancy way to select things in SketchUp, and that's this. If I click on something, like let's say this face, once, it'll select that face. I'm going to click over there to deselect. Now, nothing's selected. Watch what happens if I double click on that face just like that. So what just happened was I double clicked on the face and instead of just getting the face, which is what I get when a single click is click click, I'm going to get the edges in addition to the face that I clicked on. Watch what happens now. I'm going to triple click on that face. When I triple click, I get the whole object. So basically everything that's connected to this face, all the edges, all the faces, just like that. So if I have a bunch of objects in my model and I want to select this guy, and um, I don't feel like going through and clicking with the shift key held down on every single little part of this. The way to do that is to just triple click anywhere. That was actually a double click. If I triple click anywhere on the model, I'll actually um, select the entire object that I triple clicked on. Okay, so once again, click to select a face, double click to select a face in all of its edges, or triple click to select the face, its edges, and all the other faces and edges that are directly connected to it. Notice that this guy didn't actually get selected at all the whole time that we were selecting stuff over here. But if I triple click on this, it'll select all of this and not any of this. Okay, finally, let's talk about what are called window selections and 
crossing selections. And that's basically just drawing a big box around things that you want to select in SketchUp. So let's try this. I'm just going to triple click on this whole guy and backspace to get rid of it. Now, let's say I wanted to select this whole thing. Instead of triple clicking on it, just like that, to select the whole thing, what I can do is take, still using my select tool, I'm going to draw a rectangle from right to left over the whole thing. So notice the rectangle is basically encompassing the entire thing that I want to select. And I can actually go from bottom right to top left too, as long as I'm going from right to left. And as I do that, everything inside that window that I draw is going to be selected. Okay. Let's say that I draw this window from right to left over part of the model, but not all of the model. Watch what happens. All that was selected are the two faces and the edges that were entirely inside what's called that window selection. So watch, I'm going to do that again. I select this, and the only things that are inside that rectangle right now are this face and that face and those edges. Click. These were actually touched by the window selection, but they weren't actually completely inside the rectangle, so the only things that were selected were those faces. Now it's time to show you the, the crossing selection. If I go from right to left instead of left to right, watch what happens. I'm going to select just some of the stuff on the model, but when I do that, everything that was even touched by the window, so you can tell it's a different kind of selection because it's sort of a dashed line. Everything that was touched by the window is selected. So even though, watch this edge in particular, even though that edge isn't completely in, contained inside that rectangle, it's only being touched by the rectangle, it still gets selected. Whereas if I draw from left to right, it's, it's not actually contained within the rectangle, it's just touching, it doesn't get selected. Okay, So that's the difference between what's called a window, that is left to right, or crossing selection, right to left. This you'd use to select just the things that um, are touching the window, and this you use to select things that are entirely inside the window. I hope that makes sense. All right, that uh, concludes the Selecting What You Mean to Select video for Google SketchUp for Dummies.